Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take your embedded code from Spline and add it to your Elementor website. So what I like to do is underneath your viewer, just make sure you click this button right here, it says copy embed. And if you want to follow this tutorial right here in the background, what I did is I just created an animation of a wave and how to make it where we're going to have it on the background of a whole section on an Elementor page. So I'm going to leave a card up here if you want to follow that tutorial. Now that we have that inside of our clipboard, what we can do is jump over into our Elementor website. And this right here is going to be the container that I want to replace that SVG line that we have into our spline animation. So first, let's get rid of that line right there. And so what I did here is if you go underneath my container, I have an orange background and then I just have a background overlay with that image. So let's go ahead and turn that off. So now that line is gone. Now what we need to do is click on, in this situation I have three containers, I'm sorry, four containers. I have an inner container here and then these are their own containers. So what we need to do is actually add an HTML widget to the top of this section right here. So if I go here and I have the navigator open here on the right. We want this to be outside of the main containers. So you can see right here, let me just highlight everything. So I have the main container right here. I have this new HTML widget I just dropped and then all of these other containers are sitting below it. Uh, this is the way I like to do it. You can do it a couple of different ways, but I found this is the best approach for me. Now what we need to do is just paste in that embed code that we have. And as you can see right here, this is not what we wanted. But what we need to do is just change a few different settings and we'll be good to go. The first thing we need to do is make sure that you select your HTML widget. We're going to go underneath advanced and we're going to make this an absolute position. So what that's going to do is force it to be at the very start of this container right here. So it's at zero, zero right here. So it's just kind of pushing it up to the top left corner, which is what we want. Now we just need to add a little bit of CSS code to make it where it's going to stretch 100% of that container width and 100% height. And all we need to do is underneath custom CSS, just type in selector. And then we need to do the brackets. And what we're going to do is literally just type in width colon 100%. And as you can see, it's going 100% of the container. So that's perfect. Then we need to just uh, add a semicolon and do height. And then we're going to do 100%. And that's it. And then we just close out the bracket. Now what we need to do is actually push it uh, behind or what we could do is make all of these containers a higher Z index. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. And what we're going to do is select the HTML widget right here go up underneath advanced layout and right here where it says Z index, just make that a one. Now what I'm going to do is select each one of these containers and make the Z index of these a two. So you can see that when I do that, it automatically is going to add that above it. So let's go ahead and just do that for the rest of them. So two, this one advanced to one more container and change that to two. Now let's go ahead and hit update and let's see how this loads on the front end. So now if I scroll down right here, you can see it comes in right here. So that's exactly what we wanted. And as you can see, these are all sitting above that animation. So you might have noticed, let me go ahead and hit refresh. And I'm going to scroll right here. And you might notice it's going to kind of be like a lag. Let me show you what I mean. So right here, it kind of like jumped the browser. So what's happening is Spline is automatically adding a lazy load function to their scripts. So what it's doing is it's waiting until this gets into the viewport and then it will load that script. So that actually takes like a half a second to do. And so what we could do is disable their lazy loading. And so when the user loads up the page, that animation's already going to be kind of going. So that, that works out good in a situation like this because we don't really care if the animation is already halfway through. But if we had a situation where the animation needs to start when the user gets to that viewport, that's when we're gonna to wanna to have lazy load on. So depending on your use case, you might wanna have lazy load on, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to disable that. In order to do that, we just need to go back into our HTML widget, go to content, and right here where the spline viewer is. Make sure you don't put it on this one right here called script. We wanna add it to the second one. And just type in loading equals quote eager, that's it. So that's just telling the browser, load that up on page load rather than wait for it to be lazy load. So again, you just type in loading equals eager inside of some quotes. Let's go back here, hit refresh, make sure that when I scroll down, it's a lot smoother. So now when I scroll, 
Yeah, that's good. There's no like weird lag. So let me try it again and hit refresh. And it didn't jump or anything. So that's exactly the way we want it to load. So that's it on this tutorial on how I like to embed Spline inside Elementor pages. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.